so hello and so today we're going to talk about eigenvalue and eigenvector so before the concept of eigenvalue and eigenvector what we have to know we have to know uh, what is the motivation bit behind to uh, the introduce uh, introduce this concept of eigenvalue and eigenvector so before going to the motivation sections we have to know a few more thing so here a few more thing you have to note so from now on what we going to do uh, here are few notes from now on we going to basically use some notation so suppose we have a vector in two dimensions so this is our uh, x axis and this is y axis and suppose we have a vector and in the direction of uh, x axis i go one unit and in the direction of y axis suppose i go uh, two units and after that we get we uh, get the vectors so suppose we get the uh, uh, vectors which is uh, sorry for my uh, drawing so suppose we get the vector op and the coordinate of p is 1 comma 2 so in this case op is our vector and we have written that uh, from last uh, module which is module 2 we have written the vector in two dimension as uh, order pair 1 comma 2 so what we going to do from now we are going to denote a vector in two dimension so vector in two dimension Euclidean space R2 will be written by a 2 by 1 matrix so 2 1 also can be written as 1 comma 2 so let me write down a vector so a vector vector in uh, two dimension Euclidean space from now on can be written can be written uh, written by a two by one matrix x comma y so x is an quantity units we have to go so x y means so this is a two by one matrix you can see that here we have two rows and one column so two by one matrix so what we have so what is x x means the we first have to go x unit in the direction of x axis and then we have to go y unit in the direction of y axis and suppose and then we have to get we, we in this way will get the vectors x comma y so from now on in the Euclidean half space R2 we're going to write a vectors by a matrix which is a x by y x y and this is a 2 by 1 matrix so different value of x and y will get different matrix so 0 now the 0 vector is will be 0 0 the matrix 2 by 1 0 matrix here in this way they will be the minus 1 2 is a vector uh, now minus 1 2 is a vector so you have to go minus 1 units so 1 unit in the negative direction of x axis and then go 2 units in the direction of y axis in that way the what we get the vectors will be our minus 1 comma 2 so that's how we are going to use the notations uh, a vector in R2 will be written in this form so similarly what we are going to have so a vector so let me it is this part so they are the first thing you have to uh, understand so similarly 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 a vector in three dimension Euclidean space R3 so a vector vector in R3 uh, we will going to use this notation to write a vector in R3 which is x comma y comma z so it's a 3 by 1 matrix 3 row and 1 column so it's a 3 by 1 matrix so what's the, that means so suppose we have a vector so now we have 0 1 2 is a vector in three dimensions so this matrix will be represent a vector so that means what that means so suppose uh, in this way we have uh, the three dimension space this is the x axis and this is y axis and suppose this is z axis so 0 1 2 means in the direction of x axis we go one uh, zero unit so we stop over here so in the direction of y axis what we have to go we have to go in the direction of y units is one units and then in the direction of z axis we have to go two units so where it stop 
and we have the vector so it's a vector now in the, so this is our vector suppose this vector is OQ which is now 0 1 2 in this way we are going to represent a vector in three dimensions so similarly a vector in four dimensions Euclidean space R4 can be written by a 4 by 1 matrix so let me write that down so a vector so a vector so this is the first thing so a vector in n dimension Euclidean space Rn can be written by a n by 1 matrix n by 1 matrix which with real entries with real entries real entries so entries of the matrix are uh, have to be a real number then we will get a vector in Rn so it will be a n by 1 matrix so in 4 dimensions of uh, suppose I am taking a vector in R5 so R5 we must have a 5 by 1 matrix and entry should be a real number so it's a 2 suppose 1 0 x 2 so this is one of our vector x a being any real number so x is any real number so this is one of our vector in R5 so in this way we are going to use this notation matrix notation to represent a vectors in Rn so this is the first things you have to understand very carefully okay now we can go to the motivation uh, behind uh, the concept of eigenvalue and eigenvector but first of all what you have to know a few more things we have to go a few more steps to go to the main concept so I think you understand what we are going to use a vectors notations and we are going to use a matrix to denote a vectors in Rn so next uh, we are now I am talking about a uh, few more details observations so few observations they are beautiful observations so observation so suppose I am just for taking a vector in we are talking working with the E2 dimension Euclidean space similar type li, uh, similar type of example can be done for 3 dimension Euclidean space and so on so what we have so suppose I am drawing a Cartesian coordinate x and here we have the Cartesian coordinate y and suppose we have a vector so for example I have a vector uh, op which is our vectors op and this vector suppose this vector is 1 comma 2 so for example I am just taking 1 comma 2 is our vector so here the vector x let me write down that's x which is 1 comma 2 and suppose we have given a 2 by 2 matrix A so any 2 by 2 matrix so A is our 2 by 2 matrix for example uh, let me give you the example so suppose 1 0 uh, 3 comma so or not the 3 uh, just taking a simple one a simple matrix so what we going to do we will take the matrix 1 0 0 comma minus 1 this will be a diagonal matrix so we take a matrix so, so I will just arbitrarily choose a matrix A and now my question is what will going to happen if I multiply this matrix with this vector so if I multiply the vector A into X can I multiply yes we can because we have 2 by 2 matrix and here we have a 2 by 1 matrix so we can multiply here we have a 2 and here we have a 2 so after multiplication so what we have after multiplication so this is 1 0 0 minus 1 and we have the vector 1 comma 2 so after multiplication so after multiplication so what we get we get uh, so we get obviously we will be get a 2 by 1 matrix with 1 into 1 and 0 into 2 so it's going to be 1 1 into 0 minus so 1 minus 2 so we get a 2 by 1 
uh, matrix so 2 by 1 matrix means we get a vector so in the direction of x axis we have to go one axis uh, one units and in the negative direction of y axis we have to go two units so after that we get a vector so suppose this vector is p dash which is now 1 comma minus 2 so the main thing is that the the thing you have to observe that so if we have two by two matrix and if we have a vector in two dimensions if i multiply this matrix with these vectors in this way we get another vector in two dimension so multiplication by a matrix two by two matrix uh, with this a uh, vector in two dimensions we will get another vector in two dimension this is the first thing you have to observe so so if we have any uh, any vector so if we have any vector in two dimension if i multiply with a two by two matrix we'll always get a vector another vector in two dimension so you can see that here we get here we have the vector one two now you can see that this is a reflection of this vector you can easily see that this is a reflection about the x-axis of the same vectors so this is that's why this matrix is called the reflection matrix so here is a name this is called the reflection matrix reflection matrix because it's reflect so it reflects about the x-axis for any uh, vectors of two dimension it's going to have another vector but which is the reflect of uh, the first vector with respect to x-axis so you can see that if i have a matrix if I multiply with the matrix a vector in two dimension we will get another vector in two dimension now the question is so here is the concept come now the question is suppose we have given so let me erase this part and then ask you the question so here suppose the same matrix so suppose we have the same matrix A so the matrix A matrix will be given so 1 0 0 minus 1 so now the question is which vectors if i so can i find is there exist is there exist is there is there exist exist any vector any vector in uh, two dimension is there exists any vector in two dimension show that if I multiply with the matrix show that if I so suppose we will write the vector as an X uh, so is there exist any vector X in order to show that if I multiply with the matrix X we will get another vectors Y we get another vector Y but what we have Y is this the is in the same direction it's in the so y will be in the same direction means so maybe same direction or parallel to same direction same direction of the vectors of the vector x can i find a vector x so that if i multiply a with x we will get a vector y which will be in the same direction of the vector x which means same direction means so if suppose we have a vector so let me uh, erase this part and write down it specially so here we go so here we go so let me change the color and what I am talking about that suppose we have x axis and here we have y axis and suppose we have a can I find a vector x so this is our vector x so a is the given matrix a is given so here in this case a is this matrix so can I find a vector x show that after the multiplication we get another vector in R2 obviously so thus the vector is the same direction same direction means it's in the direction of the same vector so which may be a uh, scalar multiplication this may be in this direction or maybe in this way 
but it is not in another direction so it must be in the same direction as the direction of x axis so it must be in this line so if i draw the line basically uh, so it must be in the same line basically so i'm sorry for my drawing so it must be in the same line basically which means uh, you can see that so a vector similar to a uh, which is a which is the same direction as a x means a vector which may be a multiplication the scaling if i talk about the scaling of the vector x so which may be maybe a 2 into x or maybe half into x or maybe any real number so it's constant into x so that means can i find a constant so it's a constant x into a so const a is any real number so can i find a vector which is a constant so constant into the vector x so a is a real numbers not all real number but maybe some real numbers so can i find such a x so that if the multiplication with a will get a vector which is a scalar multiplication of the same vector x so that means can i find so that a x equals to a some scalar a into x is this possible that is the first task so let's see uh, for this a so here we go so let me erase this first and talk about that so here we go so if i multiplied a with the zero vector so suppose i take x as is our zero vector so what we have after multiply with a so x into x 1 0 0 minus 1 into 0 comma 0 and which is equals to you can see that after multiplication we get again 0 0 so we get a vector which is in the same direction as a vector x so we get x equals to x so we can find one of these vectors so i am talking about these things that if i multiply with uh, x we will get the same vector so you can write uh, this is equals to x but the, co the problem is that for this example we do not have get the particular value of a so if the here a may be any real numbers so a may be because a into 0 so a into 0 0 is going to be 0 into 0 so a here a can a can be any real number so a can be here any real number so that's how what we do we will ask the question in more modified version so now the questions goes to in this way so can i find instead of finding all such x can i find so can uh, is there exist can i find can one find can one find non zero x so x is not equals to zero zero can thus a uh, this type of x exist which has the same property like that if i multiply with x we will get a scalar multiplication so in this case we basically denote by the scalar multiplication by lambda so this is the lambda is a real number so can i find a real number lambda so uh, can i find a vector x so that x equals to lambda into x so it is the scalar multiplication of the vector x which means which is in same direction but maybe in different magnitude of the vector x that is the main questions asked over here in this case if i find lambda so let me can i find a non-zero vector so for same example what will happen if i take a vector uh, which is in lie on the x axis so let me for example so let me give you an example of x over here so suppose i am taking our my x or your x or our x as a vector in the x axis so 2 comma 0 for example I'm just taking 2 comma 0 so here we have a vector so you can see that this is if i go in the direction of x axis so oh, this must be on the x axis so it's our 2 comma 0 so 2 comma 0 are now is our vector so what will going to happen if i multiply a into x 
so a into x is 1 0 0 minus 1 which is into 2 comma 0 after multiplications it will going to have 2 into is 2 and 0 so you can see that we get the same vector x so you can write 1 into x so here if I compare with this here lambda the scalar by which the vectors is scaled or oh, is one basically so this one will be going to be called from here is called the eigenvalue of the matrix so this is called the eigenvalue of the matrix and this is called the eigenvector eigenvector of the matrix of a obviously i am taking x is our eigenvector x must be not equals to zero vector so x cannot be equals to a zero vector in r2 so we are taking all such non-zero vector to going to have so in this way it's going to have if i given a matrix a if i multiply with the vector x we will get another vector which is scalar multiplication with of the same vector x so this is one of our example we have talked about this in two dimensions frame uh, so in the next video i going to talk about for the three dimension vectors after that i going to talk about the procedure or the methods by which we are going to find the eigenvalue and eigenvectors of a given matrix so thank you for watching i hope you will come back in my next lectures so thank you and goodbye